Hello and welcome to another FIFA 23 Women's World Cup match simulation. This time it's Zambia versus Japan which took place earlier today slash yesterday depending on your time zone. Uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm currently playing catch up a little bit uh, but never mind eh? So uh, I always start these matches probably after the first round of group stage matches I'll stop doing this warning. But uh, I do want to let you all know, I know very little about women's football. The only women's football I have any experience of is the most recent Euros. And uh, neither Zambia nor Japan were in that for, for some unknown reason. Um, so, uh, as we have these silent national anthems, as is traditional, I'll just say to you, if I don't know who players are or who the favourites are and stuff like that, then my apologies. But I'm watching a lot of this World Cup. Uh, I'm obviously doing these simulations here on Ibiza Sims games. So I guess we'll uh, I guess we'll see if I learn, <laughs> basically. Now Zambia lining up with a 4-1-4-1 formation. It's uh, not the most traditional of uh, formations these days. You don't see this a whole lot. But uh, having that, that holding midfielder basically acting as like an extra defender and a connection to the midfield. Uh, Banda, I think it was. And here we go, they're going to get their group photo. And now we'll see Japan get their group photo. Now, obviously I do have the circumstance here where I know the real life result of this game before recording this. Uh, 5-4-1 for Japan, quite a defensive seeming formation, that isn't how it played out in real life. Um, and I'm going to go into this video expecting Japan to be the favourites in this match, just because I already know the real life um, result, but without knowing that real life result, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have any clue. So, Z oh, okay, in the, la the very last video I uploaded on this channel, I speculated that FIFA near enough always lines it up where the, the second team, the away team if you like, um, always kicks off attacking right to left, but nope, we've uh, just had the home team kick off left to right, so not true at all, just quite a few in a row with, by pure coincidence. Anyway, Japan have dispossessed Zambia fairly early in this match and uh, are now going to look to build an attack down their left wing. And uh, running all the way down the left wing, pretty much unopposed there. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, that pass seemed unnecessary. That. I feel like that final pass should have been a shot and it could quite possibly have been a goal there. But now Zambia are going to look to counter-attack here. Going down their own left wing but intercepted by the Japanese fullback. And now Japan's turn to try and launch an attack. Zambia have got numbers back though, it's not really a counter-attack at this point. It's more just trying to build a traditional attack. Oh, we've had a bit of a collision there. Oh, this has got... This got scrappy. What's the decision that's been made here? We've got a free kick for Japan, it seems. Not sure what for. Maybe during all that ricocheting round, there was an accidental handball. Because it didn't look like there was a clear-cut foul by any player on either team. So, yeah, the only thing I can think is maybe when the ball was, like, ping-ponging around a bit, like, there was, there was a, a handball. Maybe? Anyway, floated in and headed clear by the Zambian defender. Headed back in on the volley pass. Oh, what a beautiful finish. And that is 1-0 to Japan. Wait, no, it's not. The offside flag is up. High drama here. Oh, that is so close. That is incredibly close. But I think technically correct is the best kind of correct to be. Now Japan intercept the long goal, kick, well, free kick by the goalkeeper. Yeah, it's been fairly end-to-end, -end, but there's also been a lot of uh, scrappiness sort of in the middle of the park here. Neither team able to gain a, a huge advantage. However, Japan have now got the psychological edge of having put the ball in the back of the Zambian net. Uh, and it was, it was disallowed for offside, but it wasn't such a brazen one that Zambia can be like, oh yeah, we wouldn't have conceded if you'd have been that half an inch further back. Anyway, Zambia, ooh, good block. Oh, I say good block. Handball, penalty being given here. Oh, it's all kicking off in this match, good grief. 
it's all happening, isn't it? Oh my god. I don't know, the head whipped back there. I don't know if that hit the hand or if it hit him square in the face. However, the handball has been given. They are some awesome sunglasses. I want some of them. Chanda steps up and slots it calmly home. And Zambia are 1-0 up in this match simulation. So, going quite against the uh, the real life result. Yeah, keeper moved way before than the, the Zambia player. Was it Chand? No. Oh, it says Grace. I'm sure it was something like Chanda. On the... Yeah, Chanda. Okay. Um, what was I? What was I going to say then? Oh, wow! Look at this skill. Wow! Well, hang on. Let's not say anything. Look at this. It's two 0 Oh my God. I don't, I, I've totally forgotten what I was ever going to say now, because that has totally shocked me. Based on the real life result, I am stunned by these developments. Wow. <clears throat> nice goal, honestly. Great play down the right, and then a lovely first time finish across the goalkeeper. Slots it home. Great composure by the captain, Barbara, was it, on the back of the shirt there? Oh, Banda. Okay. Maybe it's Barbara Banda because um, Grace Chanda had Grace on the back. I'm guessing that's that's it. It's like they used their first name on their shirt and their surname on FIFA. <laughs> well, Japan, Japan are going to need a quick response. If they go into half time 2 0 down, it's going to be a tough ass. Ooh! That was a little bit nasty, wasn't it? There was no need for that. That might be a yellow card when the uh, ball next goes out of play. Oh, look at this. Chandler's powering forwards. What a shot and a good save. Yeah, and now here comes that potentially yellow card, I think. Or maybe the referee's just had a word, but I don't know. That was very cynical, that foul. Nowhere near even attempting to get the ball. Yeah, it appears to have just been a warning, though. Now the corner for Zambia. Imagine 3-0 at halftime. No, nope. Japan cannot imagine that. Will not allow that to happen. An accidental 1-2 there, but it's paid off for them. No, it hasn't. Zambia regained possession in the middle of the field. There's still time for one more attack here. Nope. Japan says no again. However... Really got their work cut out for them in the second half here, Japan. Zambia must be feeling absolutely phenomenal here. 2-0. And based on the fact that this video is going up after the real-life World Cup match, I don't think anyone would have predicted this, this scoreline. But two quick goals. A definite penalty for the... Well, actually, I say definite. I assume it was a, a well-given penalty for the handball and well-converted. And then a great free play goal. Let's, uh, let's have a look at these replays. First, we get the kickoff, of course. Oh, this was the opportunity. Yeah, this is... Well, not even opportunity. This is the offside goal. How different this match could be turning out right now if, th if this hadn't have been given as offside. Yeah. I don't know why we've gone silent for that. And I'm sure the flag was hanging down in the live footage. We're not going to see the handball decision. That's interesting. We're just going to see the penalty. But yeah, the, the goalkeeper committed way too early to a direction. And it was just very easy. Now, look at this beautiful play here to bust through the defence and then just squares it for a relatively easy but very well taken finish. And yet, yeah, we could have had another one. But for this save. Okay, let's see what Japan can do in the second half. And they're kicking off. And they need a quick response, really. The longer this half goes without a goal, the better it is for Zambia. But Japan will be looking for something reasonably quick here. And already on the attack. Oh, and he's up. Oh, oh, good save. I was about to say, she's absolutely done the defender there. That Zambian defender did not do her job at all on the left, left back position. Uh, however, the goalkeeper definitely did her job. Now, Zambia are going to look to get forward here. If they could... Oh, my God. Wow. 
great dribbling skills there. If they can get a third goal here, ooh, I think maybe another pass was potentially the right play there to really center, center the ball and allow them to get full power. But um, that wasn't what happened, and the goalkeeper pulled off a good save. Still 2 0. Zambian corner, taken shot. Chanda's kind of been the star of the show so far, honestly, for Zambia. I believe it was Chanda who set up the uh, second goal. Oh, look at that! That was an amazing through ball, and it's 3 0. This is incredible. It's Barbara again. Barbara Banda. Wait. Oh, maybe she's got Barbara because there's already a Banda. But I'm sure it said her name was Banda, right? It's a great pass and lovely first touch and a very, very composed finish. Keeper's got very little chance in that range if the striker does their job correctly. Um, um, she very much did. Yeah, Banda. Okay, so I think she's got Barbara on her back because there's already a Banda playing in a... That's the defensive midfielder, isn't it, that I pointed out? Oh. Not sure what Grace Chanda's excuse is. Not that she needs one, but I believe pretty much whatever you want on the back of your shirt. Oh, nice turn, but oh, it was red. Oh, so it wasn't nice in the end. It could have been. Did Zambia just deliberately play for that advantage? I think maybe. <laughs> Substitution's coming thick and fast here. Chanda's going to go off Grace Chanda. Great performance. Scored one penalty, set up an, another goal. She's definitely, definitely contributed here. Good control by Banda. And I think she may have committed a couple of fouls there, but the referee said Japan still have the ball and are advancing, so advantage played. It's maybe a bit over-exuberant trying to high-press there. It's good play by Japan. But they, need to, they need to convert this into a goal-scoring opportunity and into a goal, most importantly. Someone shoot! Good save by the keeper again. This is... Absolutely unbelievable. Okay. There's a chance for Makana for Japan. Take it short. And immediately dispossessed. And the ball sent forward. That was a rough challenge. The referee says play on. Uh, advantage rule. They've still got possession. And look at that. What a pass. All the way across the pitch. Zambia have grown in confidence. Oh, look at that. Oh, so close. They've grown in confidence throughout this match. Um, from being a bit under the cosh with a couple of opportunities to, honestly, playing some magnificent football. Speaking of magnificent, that pass was amazing. And that was a well-deserved goal. Why are you celebrating, though? You need to go get that ball and get back to kickoff. Okay. I mean, I know you just scored in the World Cup and whatnot, but come on. Like, you've got nine minutes. <laughs> nice simple finish. I think it's too late for Japan to get anything out of this match. But goal difference might matter in the group stage. So, still push for that second goal. Goal indeed. I missed who scored that one as well. Oh, Sugita gets a delayed yellow card as well for that, that late challenge that led to an advantage. Another late challenge. We're getting a bit choppy this match, but uh, a little bit sparsy. Oh! Oh! Well, well dealt with by Japan, but this is, I think, going to finish at 3 1 at this point. Zambia quite happy to just keep the ball until the referee blows the whistle. There it is. What a result for Zambia. Can't quite believe that. Like, yeah, astounding stuff. But there you have it. So leave a like if you enjoyed this 
much in this video. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you're new here and share with your friends if you think they would enjoy. Is this the biggest upset in this series so far, by the way? Let me know in the comments, because I know very little about if it, what is an upset, but this feels like one. Hi Hayashi got the consolation goal for Japan. Anyway, I'm going to leave you with the replays now, but for now, all I have left to say is thank you very much for watching. As always, I've been Ibeza, you've been amazing, and I'll see you next time.